Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. December 26, 2019, the Boxing Day edition. First up from the Wall Street Journal. The new CEO of Boeing, Dave Calhoun, is attempting to restart his relationship with the Federal Aviation Administration by starting on a personal approach and get off on the right foot. Calhoun takes over on January 13, is trying to persuade policymakers at the FAA that Boeing will be more reliable and cooperative in providing Uh, flight control uh, information and data regarding its proposed fix for its 737 MAX fleet. Uh, This would mean abandoning the uh, confrontational and uh, document-hiding purview of his predecessor, Dennis Muhlenberg. Of course, simply saying you're going to do it is one thing, but uh, actually doing it, and it's not only... Uh, being accountable to the FAA, but to being accountable to the employees of Boeing and their customers that when you say you're going to do something that you will do it. Boeing certainly is in a big amount of trouble and perhaps uh, this new charm offensive uh, will actually help and do something. Uh, Next up, what is risk? Donald Trump has announced that wind uh, is one of the largest pollutants there are and wind turbines Uh, actually stir up wind and make uh, the environment even more polluted. So it's going to be interesting to see if corporations follow this uh, wind statement and that winds which blow hard are actually causing pollution. Of course, Trump supporters will probably stop trying to uh, blow and have wind because they realize that they may be a part of uh, the environmental problem. Nevertheless, Uh, For those environmentally conscious companies, they may want to take a look at their risk risk associated with wind, as certainly announced by President Trump, a well-known wind expert as he has self-proclaimed himself. Next up, from the uh, New York Times, um, there's been an ongoing scandal with the United Auto Workers. And for those who practice in the area of anti-bribery, anti-corruption, there was a couple of numbers that struck me about the um, expenses charged by the uh, very top leadership of uh, the UAW. Uh, First off, there was $13,000 in union funds charged at one cigar store in uh, Arizona. So those were obviously some very nice cigars coming in at uh, $268 to $274 per cigar. And the other was a a $7,600 or $7,000, I should say, Uh, dinner, uh, which the UAW uh, Management Committee or Executive Committee charged. So uh, these numbers are uh, pretty high and pretty horrific, and uh, anyone working in the uh, FCPA or greater anti-bribery and anti-corruption world would recognize this immediately as uh, over-the-top outrageous expenses, which uh, should not be allowed and raise certain red flags. And given the conduct of the UAW, not too surprising. And our final story for Boxing Day, appropriately enough, comes from the Bank of England and Lloyds of London, who went 18 months without, excuse me, 16 months without a whistleblower line. They, uh, their staff of 1,000 had no way to anonymously report uh, issues such as sexual harassment, corruption payments, or anything else. Uh, Lloyds um, said that uh, they were uh, very serious about uh, whistleblowers. Uh, but somehow they couldn't get their whistleblower line up. So you have to wonder about the organization and how much it actually cared going forward. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. Thanks for listening.